Hey friends, Rebecca Austin here with another quick Kajabi tutorial. Now in this video, I want to talk to you just a little bit about hiring a Kajabi virtual assistant or someone to help you with your Kajabi account. Now before I go into what to look for when hiring someone to help you, I'd like to talk just a little bit about why I really recommend that you look for someone to hire as a Kajabi virtual assistant or a Kajabi coach. When you are getting started with your business, you are focused on creating the content that you want to launch to the world. You have the program, there's the, the sales sequence and your marketing pipeline, as well as your email sequences. And creating that content is a really, really important part of getting everything put together the way you need to, and then getting it put into Kajabi in such a way that it's professional and it looks the way you want it to and then working on your marketing plan to get it launched to the world. Now, that can seem a little bit overwhelming, and if you're new to the online digital CEO realm, it's always worthwhile to find someone to be able to walk you through some of those processes. And on top of that, you're trying to put all that together and then learn Kajabi on top of all of the things that you're doing in addition to your course is learning the technology and navigating the platform. So when you hire someone to help you with your Kajabi, you can take all of that aspect off of your plate and just focus on getting your program created and then launched to the world. Now a really good Kajabi VA or Kajabi assistant can help you not only with the technology aspect and the framework, but also give you tips on, and guidance on setting up your program and creating your pipelines. So that brings me to the next part of this video, which is what to look for and questions to ask when you are hiring a Kajabi assistant to get you up and running. Now, once you've made the decision that you want to hire someone to help you with your Kajabi, here are a few things that I recommend from a Kajabi assistant standpoint. I've been on both sides and so I can give you a bit of a perspective. Looking for someone to help you with your Kajabi, first of all, you want to find out a little bit more about their experience and their credentials. So do they have the experience that you need to be able to build the Kajabi site that you are wanting to create? The second thing, of course, is I always recommend that you do a slight interview process just to make sure that your personality and the design style and the language and all of those kind of things are really going to jive and that you really connect with that person because you're going to be working with them on some pretty important stuff. I mean, this is your baby. This is your dream. This is the course that you're going to launch to the world to make a difference. And you want to be able to partner with someone that can see your vision and help you to get where you want to go. The other thing that is really, really recommended is make sure that you have some type of service agreement or contract with that person when you hire them. You are sharing your Kajabi login information if they're working on your account or you're setting them up as an admin or as um, a as someone who has access to your Kajabi account. So you want to make sure that you have some type of written agreement that's signed on both parties to protect you and to protect, to protect them. The protection there, you want to make sure that you include a clause that is a confidentiality agreement and also an intellectual property agreement so that you have that 100% confidence knowing going into your relationship with this person that everything that you share with them is going to be protected. Another quick tip, which is not a make or break, but it certainly is helpful if the person is kind of in your own time zone or at least close. Um, I've worked with several clients across the world and it's not always a big deal, but sometimes when you're working on a deadline and you're getting that final launch push, if they're six to seven hour time difference, it can make it a little bit tricky on getting some changes made in a timely fashion. So it's not a make or break, but it's something to consider when you're looking at hiring that Kajabi assistant. And as a bonus tip, 
Another thing that you can find out is if the person that you are interviewing can do more than just Kajabi. Obviously, in most cases, you're just going to want somebody to set up your account itself, but sometimes it's really helpful to have someone who can kind of give you some feedback, especially if you're first getting started, to be able to see if the copy is written in such a way that is going to attract your audience, if they, the program itself is outlined in a way that is going to be working really well for the target audience that you're working with. There's just all these other aspects to putting together a program besides just creating the framework in Kajabi. And if you have someone that has more of a coaching and consulting that they can do in addition to the Kajabi VA or assistant type services, that's always a bonus. So those are just a few quick tips to help you as you are searching for someone to help you with your Kajabi account. Now, obviously, I am a Kajabi VA, a Kajabi coach, and a Kajabi consultant, and I also have a Kajabi mentorship program. So if you would like to get some assistance, I am more than happy to see if we are a good fit for each other. And if you're looking for other really great resources, Kajabi has a list of Kajabi people that can help you, especially if you're looking for things like custom coding or other projects that may help you in other ways. So I'll put a link to that with this video and you can see it right down here. So feel free to check out that link as well. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel as I regularly post videos to help you as you grow your business with Kajabi. Thanks so much for watching.